Technology, the internet, everything is in there. I'm sure everyone here, every one of us, has ran to our computers, our phones, just to get answers. May it be for our tasks, an assignment, or just to get answers for our simple questions of our day-to-day -day life. Information, may it be important or not, can easily be accessed in today's world. But, have you ever wondered, is the information showing in your screen, being told, is it relevant? Is it legitimate? Is information, knowledge, and history, is it catching up with the demand in the virtual space? Now, we just have to know if this information that we get is relevant. My name is Maureen Sarmiento, and together with my buddy here, Client Sandano, we're here to talk about is the truth outdated. Now, let's start off with old and new media. What is it exactly? Well, first off, according to an article by Techopedia, Media is the plural form of medium, which describes any channel of communication. Now, this can go from printed media to digital media. Anything that influence or reach people can be considered a form of media. The media has a massive influence on our lives and our society. It gives us information, educating us about recent or past events. What events exactly? Events, social changes, or changes, anything that can uh, concern the lifestyle of humanity. Now, as we all know, the media has a massive influence on our lives and our society. This is true, and it is proven. It gives us information about the, the events in our past or in our uh, present or the recent. Because you see, media is the very source of events. And, and uh, to follow up with our next slide, we have different forms of media. These are traditional, print, broadcast, digital, computer, mass, and finally social media. Next slide, please. Now, starting off with traditional media, according to Techopedia, this includes newspapers, journals, radio, television, and magazines. This was basically how journalists or writers uh, shared their thoughts or their, the information they knew with the public before. It's pretty much as simple as that. Next, we ha and also, um, traditional media actually has two subcategories. This is print and uh, broadcast media. So print media is where paper, ink, and printing are involved. So anything that is well printed is considered print media. So examples of these would be letters, uh, essays, thesis. As long as it's printed, it's print media. Next, on the other hand, is we have broadcast media. It is a form of radio and television. So this is pretty much just um, you know a AM and FM radio stations or pretty much just a television. Next form of media is digital media. This is where encoded signals are, well, en encoded and transmitted over various forms of physical and virtual media like computer networks or fiber optic cables. Now, we can include the internet as a whole, but only on a granular level, meaning our specific examples would be uh, websites, blogs, podcasts, and instant, in uh, instant messaging uh, communication like uh, emails. Next slide, please. Now, another form of media is computer media. 
this is where electronic devices are used to store data. So, for example, um, USBs, CDs, DVDs, any electronic device that can store data is computer media. According to Techopedia, all technologies used to communicate information such as videos, pictures, sounds, and presentations are often referred to as media or multimedia. Mass media now also refers to the media channels that can reach a large number of viewers like public TV and national magazines. Because again, not we don't only have um, digital media here in this new era, we still have print media. Last but certainly not the least form of media is social media. This form of media is where people who are part of a certain social network can share any kind of information with everyone virtually. Don't you agree, Maui? We always use social media, right? You're right, Clarence. If you lived in the older era... Sorry about that, you guys. Alright, um, so if you lived in the older era, if you need a piece of news, or you're just waiting for your daily dose of news, you're gonna use a newspaper. Now, if you have a history test, or any kind of test, you're gonna run to your nearest library. Use the Dewey Decimal System to find the book for you. Now, if you want to listen to upcoming news, you're gonna turn off that radio, listen to your favorite AM station. Next slide. The media, you, media outlets use new or outdated ways of spreading information, reaching out to the public, widely spread knowledge to the people. Now, media outlets in the olden times were limited to the following. As I've mentioned, newspapers, magazines, tabloids, radio, and TV stations. Now, these media outlets have assigned journalists in areas to cover stories and in order to create articles for the media outlets. When events are logged to the archives, historians analyze and connect certain events in order to complete the puzzle of history. Now, how are they connected? Journalists observe the happening. Historians connect and sort out the happening. Now all of us create the happening. We are the happening. We are the ones that journalists observe and then they create stories for their media outlets in order for historians to sort out for our history. Now, History is truth. How do I say so? As I have mentioned, journalists observe, historians sort out, they log, and we create more history for them to work on. Now, history is truth because historians cannot base their analysis on their opinions. Why? Because this will lead to historical bias. Historical bias is only based on opinions and their emotion on whatever happened. Now that is not what we need. What we need is the truth. May it be from the older times or may it be for the future, may it be within the present. We need the truth. The people need truth. Now, this is for Clarence. Thank you, Maui. So, with the new era, information can easily be given out or shared thanks to social media articles, blog pages, media outlet websites, and more. So, what does this mean exactly? So, when we ever think, uh, okay, let's say wanted to check out the news, you don't have to wait for the morning newspaper or wait till evening to watch the television news anymore. You can just go to, let's say, the website or the Facebook page, 
of the news outlet you are following and then there you go you have the news it's as simple as that really now the, the only problem with convenience of sharing uh, information quickly is this there are many questions regarding the credibility of these sources because as easy as it is to share information on a wide scale or a small scale sharing information it's also extremely easy to spread misinformation or fake news and the worst part is we don't really know why they do this for their own benefit for entertainment we don't know now there was this survey in uh, Spain So there was, um, yes, again, an out. Uh, there was a survey for uh, an outlet in Spain, where they conducted a research. Uh, they asked 391,130 users, aged 16 to 64, about their media consumption on the time, and what they found was that, uh, okay, 23% of the respondents consumed time in social media with two hours and 20 minutes of screen time while 7% of respondents use physical print press with only 43 minutes of consumed time with it. This means that more people nowadays are using virtual space than their traditional form of media. And since this research was done 48 years ago, imagine how many people use their phones now compared to just using print media. Now, I'm going to, now we have, now, okay. We have, now the question now is, the status of truth in media. Do you have any thoughts on that? I actually do. I actually do. Since I'm a very opinionated person, I had to research. We had to research about the status of the truth in media. The truth is always here. It's always around the corner. History is always accessible to everyone. Regardless of the medium. But the downside to this is that the book or the medium that you're using is not in your local library. What you need is not in your house or not anywhere accessible near you. But also, when it comes to digital, to the digital sources, I mean, the downside of not having access to these sources is a huge percentage of not um, let's say having the effort or having the access to these sources now it could be internet connection or you don't have data connection you don't have the gadget you don't have any medium in order to get through these sources now we already mentioned that in the older times media uses newspapers tabloids and everything printed for spreading news information and um, other kinds of um, literature to the people to the public while books provide recorded and detailed information about an event. This is an organized system by historians. This is organized by historians and it is either their choice to hire or just to write their own um, books in order to log this in our history. Misleading information in media has been around for a very long time way before we discovered the internet or way before people discovered that media outlets exaggerate and make up stories or it's to just simply misinform the people they're in it for the money or their own uh, their own entertainment let's give an example of a tabloid Is it there? All right, never mind then. Um, here I have 
a tabloid. A tabloid, first page. It says, Hillary Clinton adopts alien baby. If you read this on a newspaper, would you believe it right at the first time? I think not. Because these tabloids exaggerate stories, they create exaggerated headlines, fake headlines, false headlines, in order to intrigue the people, their interests. For what? For money, for views, and the purchases. Before tabloids contain a lot of false headlines, as I've said, and gossip. But tabloids sorry about that. But tabloids also serve as entertainment for the people. Why? Because gossip is what keeps us going. Am I right, Marites? <laughs> But in today's world, you have the power. You have the power to fact check. You have the power to trace that information. Now, what I would say the status of media is, uh, the truth in media, I mean, is that it is everywhere. It is accessible. You just have to make the effort. You just have to make the time in order to, to find that truth. To, to have access to that truth in order to share that truth. Now I am going to give the floor to Brian Semlano. Thank you. Now, in the new era, everything is different now. Do you need research to support your thesis you're working on? Well, just go to Google Scholar. There's a lot. There's thousands of research there for you to use. Just good luck on finding one without an abstract. <laughs> and again, let's say you want to check on the news. Just check on a website or ch check on a Facebook page. It's really easy now. However, the bad thing about the virtual era is that many people take advantage of how supply and demand work in the virtual space. People think that everything is on the internet and they forget, always forget to fact check. And of course, this leads to, well, the false information being spread, many people being confused, havoc, really. And this is why research is important. And research uses facts or insisting research in order to support the study. It's just sad to see that misleading content on the internet is being shared more without double-checking on legitimate sources to verify. The internet has everything now, and yet we take it for granted. We take the new technology for granted. And to start for a conclusion, I will give the floor to Maui. All right, here we are, the end of the line. As we've mentioned, history is the truth. History is what dictates what our present and our future will be. It gives us our today and it tells us what our tomorrow will be. Now, history is a term used for determining past events. History is where big decisions were made by older de generations. This is where mistakes happen, or even miracles. Events that made things what they are today. Now, if we are to seek the truth, do you have any points on that? Now, as, as she said, if we are to seek the truth, look for sources who knows the details look for the verified ones to share the story with accurate citations from other narratives never let your guard down and easily trust the ones with meager information with the status of the media today many now try to manipulate our people to satisfy the orders from a leader who wants to bend history reality and our future because the status of the truth now relies on how we seek the truth 
Is the truth outdated? Yes. If you are not informed of the previous. But is the, pre if, is the truth outdated? No. If you are aware of the familiar. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.